Okay, we got another one here. This one is so good. This one is so good. And it, it's so good because, um, well, I know one of the guys. Well, I know him from the internet. He reached out to me uh, last year. Uh, this person, um, well, the show we're about to watch is Office Hours with Tim Heidecker. You know Tim, Tim and Eric, and from all the movies, Tim Heidecker. He's got a great show, Office Hours. And uh, we're going to see Tim look a little nervous here. Talking about Red Bar. Uh-oh. Uh, well, it turns out, you know, and I know that uh, Vic Berger, his friend, you guys know Vic Berger. You might know Vic Berger from Twitter. Uh, Vic Berger reached out to me uh, a year ago or so saying he's, he loves the show. He loves what we're doing. And um, it warmed my heart. You know, it's always been one of those things where I go, we got guys like Owen Benjamin who admire and watch this show for guidance. And then we've got guys like Vic Berger all the way on the opposite of that spectrum watching. That warms my heart. Um, and uh, I guess somebody accused Office Hours of stealing Red Bar content because Office Hours has been doing a lot of Bill Maher coverage. <laughs> Let's see what this is about. So it was brought up, and um, this is another great one here. Okay, you gotta stop messaging me, Danny the girl. Okay, let me get this. <laughs> let me get this up for you guys. Here. I'm gonna do red bar. Red bar now. <laughs> Who are these guys? Where are, you know that guy? He's the best. I started in Chicago. I, I oh yeah. You oh did. my God, this is even better. Guess who's in his studio talking about red bar? Beth Legs Stelling. Beth Stelling is the comedian that was beat up by Kale Hartman, who Gavin McInnes took in after Kale was excommunicated from the comedy scene for his domestic abuse on Beth's legs. That was our last straw. Remember, Gavin. Beth Stelling <laughs> posted a picture of her legs all bruised up, claiming Kale Hartman beat up her legs. He did. Uh, yes, of course he did. I mean, uh, he did. And what's so great about Beth Stelling being here on this big day of Red Bar with Tim Heidecker and Beth Stelling is that Beth is also the girl from my famous banana bit. Yep. Back in Chicago, I had uh, we had all the, all the comics on and Beth Stelling was one of the top comedians in Chicago at that time. She's moved on and now be some kind of. She's not really in the same scenes as we look into on this show. But Beth was sitting in the studio. And back then, I was just being myself. And I was telling this beautiful joke about uh, meeting a black girl. I'll tell the joke really quick. Beth's sitting right here, okay? <laughs> I go, yeah, Beth, I was uh, at a bar this week. And uh, this black chick comes up to me. And she's like flirting with me. And I'm like, I can't believe it. A black chick flirting with me. This never happens. And she's like this basic black chick. Like she looks like your average black chick. Like she's not a whitened up black chick. She's not like a hot black chick. Just a, So I couldn't believe she came up to me flirting. Me. So I thought that was so cute. She flirts with me and I go off. I run off doing something. And then I don't see this girl uh, around anywhere, so I'm looking around for her to show my friend this black chick who started talking to me. I'm looking all over the bar. Finally, I see her. She's sitting in the corner, eating a banana! And, and then I go, what do you think, Beth? Good joke? Good story joke? And she goes, I think I'm gonna leave. And literally started getting teary-eyed and left the show over racism. So here she is, years later. That's the last I saw, Beth. She left my studio in tears over that story. And because I started fighting with her about it after, I go, wait, that's too much for you? Are you crazy? <laughs> and now here she is talking to Tim Heidecker about Red Bar with some guy on the phone. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm gonna do red bar, red bar now. Who are these guys? Where are, you know that guy? He's the best. I started in Chicago. I, I like oh, that you, guy. Oh yeah, you know, you know. I am digitally known all over the fucking place now. I've done nothing. It's so stupid. Look how easy this is.
They all know every podcast. Hey, you know, Rob Dog. Oh, yes. And none of them are mad at me, really. It's really a dream. Okay, let's see how it is. I'm going to do Red Bar, wow. red bar now. <laughs> Who are these guys? Where are, you know that guy? He's the best. I started in Chicago. I, I like oh, that Oh, yeah, you know, you know him that good. Um, but I feel like I <clears throat> definitely maybe crossed paths with the Come Town guys at a festival, but I don't know them. <laughs> I'm going to do Red Bar, wow. red bar now. <laughs> Who are these guys? Where are, you know that guy? He's the best. I started yeah, in we Chicago. We already heard this. I don't I like know. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, it's you just know short. Him, oh, uh, that was just that clip. There's, there's more. There's another clip. There's more, of course. That was just that clip repeating. Where's the next one? In uh, the comments? No, it's in uh, oh, the notes still here. I'll direct to the the office Let's hours one. Oh, okay. Office hours one. Okay, here we go. That was the wrong clip. Okay, here it is. Red Bar in the Wild. Tim Heidecker and Vic. You got to stop with this message, sir. Often, and then I'm like, uh, uh, I hope okay. Here it is. They're on the phone with this guy. I don't know who this guy is. I think I maybe think he's a listener. He's a listener. Okay, let's see. Often, and then I'm like, uh, uh, I hope Are we those guys? You, you won't name name names. You won't name. I don't know the There's endless supply of them. Man, so I don't know. Dumps. I don't know if you've heard of um, Red Bar. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know, I want to address that too because people are like, some jerk goes. Uh, that because we're showing that club random uh, Richard Dreyfus shit, they go, "You're stealing! You're stealing from Red Bar," because he also talked about it. I'm like, again, I'm not platforming, and I'm not stealing. All we're like, I don't know. I can't monitor what everybody else is talking about, and also like, and you, yeah. how am I gonna again? How am I gonna just ignore that Richard Dreyfus stuff? Also, for, for the I don't think Tim has ever watched any Red Bar. No, I've record. seen clips and I send uh, stuff all the time. <clears throat> You what? I send you stuff all the time. Vic, 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 Vic. I don't think so. Some guy tries to stick up for Tim in the studio. He goes, I don't think Tim even watches Red Bar. And he goes, I've seen some clips. And then Vic Berger chimes in, I send you stuff all the time. Uh-oh. Let's see that play out again. I don't know, I don't know if you've heard of um, Red Bar. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you Podcast, know, I want to yeah. address that, too, because people are like, it's some amazing. jerk goes, uh... That because we're showing that club random uh, Richard Dreyfus shit, they go, "You're stealing! You're stealing from Red Bar," because he also talked about it. Oh, I'm like, again, I'm not platforming, and I'm not stealing. All we're like, I don't know. I can't monitor what everybody else is talking. Nervous. About. And also, like, and you, yeah. how am I gonna again? How am I gonna just ignore that Richard Dreyfus stuff? Also, for, for the I don't think yeah. Tim has ever watched any Red Bar. No, I've record. seen clips, and yeah, I send uh, stuff all the time. <clears throat> You what? Oh, I send you no. stuff all the time. You, you send, send me stuff, stuff all the time of Red Bar? <laughs> yeah. Oh. What stuff? I have in the past. When when Red Bar talked about us, yeah. oh, that for got sure. passed around. Yeah. Oh. That got passed. No, I know who no, he, I know who no, he is. Yeah, I don't have any ill will that. towards him. It seems like a funny show. Like he's, I think he's funny. He's I, I funny but are you listening to him and, and then you let me ask No, no, I have nothing to do with You're like I saw the comments like you did about that. Like, oh shit, he Red Bar is talking about Richard Dreyfus. That would be good for our show. Let me copy that. I think we no, talked no. about it the same week, in fact. Sure. Because it's just this listener is so pleased. Yeah, but you don't think don't know. you don't think we're watching Club Random on our own? We have to listen to Red Bar to find out about it? <laughs> yeah, it, that was fantastic. Yeah, also, really? that episode was so prolific, like I think it was gonna be covered by people either way. But this Red Bar, he does something like six hours a day or something. Six hour show. Yeah. Can you believe yeah. that? Six yeah. hour talk yeah. of talk. There's like breaks in between and musical breaks. It's really good. I uh, agree. David, you weren't the guy who, you weren't one of the commenters, were you? <laughs> asking, uh, about, you? asking about Red Bar on social media. This nervous you guy. Those guys, were you? No, no. No, no. no. <laughs> all right. Well, That's all the best. Say, tell, tell us something in French Canadian, huh? Uh, merci et okay. va te faire foutre. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm blown away. And you guys don't have to worry. Tim, you relax. Can... You can cover whatever. Don't be nervous. We, we know you're not that. stealing from Red Bar, okay? Nobody's worried about that. Isn't Vic just a little cutie? That was great. That was great. And I love how it always comes back to, Red Bar's really good, but he does six out. Yes, it's also great. The guy who was on there is in the chat right now. Oh, thank like, you so much. He's like, hey, that's me. You did great. You did great. And I could see in his eyes, he's knowing this is making Red Bar wild. <laughs> That was just amazing. I mean, Tim is uh, an inspiration to me, so that meant everything to me.